Welcome to Trojan TV News. I'm Jacob Blair. And I'm Eric Mathis. So, uh, Eric, what's with the uh, color scheme here? You know, I wish that I could say it was for some diplomatic cause of human justice in support of our sister school here in the Park Hill School District, but it's really not. I jumped out of bed. I couldn't see anything. I threw on a purple shirt. I had a white tie with me. And so this is what you're getting today, Park Hill. I apologize. Well, it doesn't work. Just last night, the Park Hill Trojans baseball team took on the Platte County Pirates in a district semifinal matchup. Early warm-ups proved to be an important precursor for Aaron Ashby as he got the nod for the start. Ashby had his stuff working from the get-go, and that kept the Pirates from attacking early and gave the Trojans an early opportunity to pounce. With a tight game on our hands, Kyle Francis came to the plate. He dug in and with a powerful swing sent the white round ball soaring over the brick wall surrounding the Park Hill baseball field. With the home run, the Trojans took the early lead. Later, the Trojans added some more breathing room with several more runs batted in. With Ashby still on the mound late in the game, his stuff was still as potent as it was at the beginning of the game. The Trojans ended up beating the Pirates by a final score of 4-2. to two. The Trojans have begun the district championship game against Staley, so after that dismissal bell rings, head on over to the baseball field to support your Trojans. That's the most I've pitched in a while, is um, eight innings. I, I think I had 117 pitches, so I'm feeling a little sore today. But um, I'm glad I could do it for my team and um, get the win. Speaking of that fine institution of high school athletics, track athletes must bring your clean uniform in a sack with your name on it to Coach Gardner or Coach, Coach Self or $180 of your hard-earned money will be going straight towards the Park Hill Athletics Department. Also, boys, you have a cross-country meeting today after school in room 420 about summer training. And because we're not gender discriminatory here, both boys and girls track will have their awards banquet tonight at 5 o'clock in the Park Hill track area. Athletes eat free and every adult is only $5. Math Club will meet Wednesday, May 20th after school in room 111. We will be electing officers for next school year. Comrades, a proletariat uprising will take place Thursday after school in Mr. Bellman's room. Please bring a dollar to distribute among the hungry masses in the form of pizza. Viva la revolution! From, teacher to, uh, from student to teacher, one of the kindest educators at Park Hill is inspiring the same in his students. Drake Heathman has Chad more. Chad Fetty, also known as Mr. Fetty, is one of the school's most admired teachers, but some of you may not know, he walked the same hallways as the rest of us. I attended my first day of kindergarten at Graydon Elementary in 1975, and I graduated in June of 1989. Mr. Fetty is known for being energetic and fun in the classroom. He's attempting to model after his favorite teacher in high school. My favorite teacher here when I went to high school was Mrs. Van de Populier, who taught child growth and development, or child care class as we called it back then. And I really liked her because she was fun and open and um, had a real um, calm and wise demeanor in her teaching style. And we all got along in class and we really had a good time. Because of this teaching style, more students are prone to respect and admire him as a teacher. Uh, I think he's a, a really good teacher. Um, He's different than most teachers because he's like really, uh, really kind, you know, and he's less about learning the material just to learn the material. There's a point behind learning the material. It's to be a better person. I think it's really neat. Mr. Fetty was also a Division One athlete. He played football for the University of Kansas, but he struggled to find his field while he was there. I went to KU because I had a scholarship and it was a good fit for me, and. Um, I did not know I wanted to be a teacher. Um, playing football there was a job. It was very, it was difficult. I mean, there were fun parts of it, but it was difficult. Um, but I did not know um, what I wanted my major to be until really after um, I had finished my degree. Don't be afraid to stop and say hello to him in the senior hallway. Reporting from Trojan TV News, I'm Drake Heathman. Thanks, Drake, for the story. The student of the day is Damian Davis, nominated by Mr. Hood. Today's birthdays are Mike Brown, Tom Forbes, Joe Johnson, Victoria M Meeker, and Ryle Milford. That's all we have for you today. I'm Eric Mathis. And I'm Jacob Blair. Go support your Trojans baseball.